Welcome to Mohegan Sun, room 2339. It is in the Sky. This is a Sky Cove Suite. It's a full handicap accessible room. To get in the door, you put your key in front of the door. The lights flicker. You push the door open a little bit and it automatically opens. There is the door lock for privacy right there. There is a switch here for the interior light. There is a privacy that puts a little red circle around the outside the door. There's a little circle. It's like it looks like a doorbell. It is a doorbell actually. There is a service light, there is a privacy light. If you push the lights the second time, they go out. Inside the door, to your right hand side, is a closet. When you open the door, the light comes on. In the closet, there is an iron, an ironing board, a blanket, and a pillow, along with numerous hangers and a laundry bag and a laundry order form. That's on the right hand side. On the left hand side of the door, on the back of the door, there is a diagram showing you where you are. We are here and the stairway and the emergency exit route, which would be down here if you're gonna use the stairs. Which obviously, if you're in a handicap room, that's not going to work so good unless you're going to roll down the stairs, but whatever. Over here, to the left-hand side of the door, is the button to push. This button opens the door again. It's good that it's far back because then your wheelchair will not be in the way of the door. Here is the bath, the half bath. On the right hand side, press the button to turn on the lights. There is a slight, that's actually a hall table, but whatever. There is a hand towel, so two lights. The sink with a face soap. This is, they use green tea and willow with shea butter face soap. Face soap. There's a trash barrel under the sink. There is the bar because this is a handicap bathroom to put up or down, whichever you need. There is a bar behind the toilet. There is a, let's say, probably a three and a half foot bar next to the toilet over the, over the toilet paper and a phone. And then it has some artwork. Next to it is the light switch for a fire that would strobe if you needed it. There was a fire in the place. Outside the door on the wall, there's some other artwork. On your right hand side is the door to the adjoining suite. And right next to that is the air conditioning, you know, heat, whatever you want, if you want to turn it up. Or down, you do it by that. It also tells you what temperature it is outside and what temperature it is in the room. It goes with both Fahrenheit, Celsius, and the shows you the fan. And of course, it has the echo the for people that are trying to save for the ecology. Next to it is a light, a lamp. The light switch on the lamps are on the bottom. On one side is a USB port, and on the other side is the regular plug. The only thing I didn't like was when I came in here, I use a walker. This chair was pulled out so I could not walk by. It was literally two and a half feet between this chair edge and this wall. So that kind of made it not handicap friendly. There is a 
a couch over here, excuse me. That is a fold out couch. It is the size of, I believe it is a queen size bed in there, but that is why there is pillow and blanket in the closet. There's a nice table here. It's actually very big. I would say this table is about two and three quarter feet by about four feet. Over here is another lamp. Just like the other one has a USB port on and off switch. Then they have two chairs here that you can sit in in front of the planter. I'm going to shut this light off. Over here is telephone, paper, pen, and a pretty picture of a hummingbird. Here is the window. These windows are actually wall to wall. If you look outside, you can see the, that's why I shut off the inside light. If you look over to your right, that is the um, parking garage that they hold the food truck and things like that on the roof. When they have fireworks, you can see them from the roof. That is the access road that you can see there. I am on the cove side. If you look to your left, you can see the other portion of the hotel. And if it was daytime down here in this area here, all the way across is the water, the cove. Directly below us, that light down there, the roof, that is the pool. If people were in the pool and it was daytime, you would be able to see them outside. You can't see inside, but you can't see outside. Now, over here, there are plugs underneath this table, as you can see. There are trash cans, one for recyclables, one for regular. On this side of the room is a TV, and there are just drawers under the TV in that space following down. This is the, I don't know what you'd call it, it's not a wet bar because there's no sink, but I guess you would call it the breakfast bar. You have your curry, you have your tea, um, assortment of condiments for your tea, you know, your sugar, whatever. It has four breakfast blend of light roast coffee, decaf, two decaf, two regular, two cups. I don't understand the two cups. This room is for four people, but what do I know? You have two cu two glasses here. You have your paper cup, your um, styrofoam cups with covers, your ice thing with the plastic bag. Please remember to always use the plastic bag and preferably wash the inside of these ice buckets. I worked in the hotel industry. People that throw up, take the ice bucket instead of the trash can and throw up in the ice bucket, okay? Just a warning. Underneath here is the, as you can see, there's different things to eat and drink in there. Don't ever take them. They're like crazy expensive. You have a refrigerator. This refrigerator is almost two and a half, three feet tall. It holds ice, has a freezer area. As you can see, I have my one bottle of my water in there. I also have two bottles of water here. It has a thing to put the actual bottles of water on, which I might move these to. It is deep enough to hold a to-go box on the second and top shelf. And of course it has the drawers on the refrigerator shelves, whatever you call them. In here, this light goes to the front lamp, okay. This is the master bedroom. You walk in, to your left you have the TV, the bureau, again with the area for the, you know, foods and stuff. Really pushing the food here, huh? Okay, over here is a full desk. 
I have my stuff on it, but okay, we have a lovely picture. Those are actually fly, um, feathers. We have the window. Again, we, it's the same view as the other one. There's two club chairs, a mirror, full length. If you move the chairs, you could probably use it. Telephone, light. The light switch in here is down here. Okay, has a drawer with your Bible. Telephone book, I don't know why people would use that, but whatever. Full bed. On the bed, they put the usual sales paraphernalia. In-room dining and snacks, you know, for your breakfast to put outside. TV guide, welcome to Mohegan, blah, blah, blah. And to promote the Mandarin Spa. Mandarin Spa. Off of here is the other bedside table. On this table, they have a clock radio with the alarm set, sleep, smooth, the whole bit. It also has two USB ports in it. On both sides of the bed, on the tit side tables, there is plugs and USB ports. There is a table here. There's a little shelf under there. I just put my shoes on it so I don't trip over them. Next to that is another small closet with two um, bathrobes. Okay, if you want to take one of these bathrobes home, they, you can go to the Brewster Trading Post to buy them. If you take them, it will be charged to your account. I'm not taking them. I think they charge like 75 bucks or 100 bucks for them. They're cheaper to buy it that thing. Okay, there's a closet here. This is the door to the bathroom. This is the door that leads out into the living area. Over here, there is another closet. This closet does not have a light. It has the safe, some more hangers, the hassock, and the luggage rack. It also has some satin lingerie hangers. There was four in this room. And that concludes my review of, of the living room. I mean the bedroom. This is the full turnaround handicapped bathroom. Hence, showers, this up there. This puts the water up there or down to this portion of the shower. This goes up and down. It also uh, with some wrangling this portion comes off of this portion so you can use it as a handheld shower over here is the shower seat with a shower mat behind it is the shower you know the rubber so you don't slip and fall that is a heavy-duty seat. I can tell by looking at it. It would hold well over 250 pounds. Over here is the bathroom. The amenities are here. As you can see, I already used this. This is because this is my second night here. We have soap, conditioner, shampoo, mouthwash, body lotion, shower gel, a shower cap, a vanity kit and a dental kit. There was actually two dental kits. I pulled everything out so I could show you. This is a shoe shine sponge. Pull it out, pull the top off. That sponge has oil on it to shine your shoes. We have a shaving kit. This is what was in it. Shaving cream and a razor. Oh, it's a double edge razor. Then we have a dental kit. It has a very, very soft toothbrush and the most cutest, look at how small that, that Colgate toothpaste is. Isn't that adorable? Then we have a mending kit, which as you can see has multicolored threads, black, blue, 
pink, white, a safety pin. They are in a plastic container. At the bottom is two buttons, so if you pull your button off. This kit, the thread is already threaded. There is one, two, three, four, five, six needles with all of previously threaded. You have your two glasses, your soap dish with the small facial soap. It's about that size. I used it. There is a second sink, the same thing. Tissue paper, hand towel, your um, shaving mirror, two-sided, one for the bigger magnification, one regular, so you can either use the magnification to put your makeup on or shave or the regular side, whichever you need. There's another bath um, toilet here with the pull-down arm handle, the same heavy-duty bar behind it, bar next to it, the toilet paper, and a mirror. Now, behind this door, there are hanger, you know, um, for your towels and things. They are approximately four feet tall, a little over four feet tall. They're for people that are in a wheelchair or midgets. I don't care. Whatever you want to do. All right. And that is the bathroom. To turn the light on in the bathroom, turn it up. You'll notice it shuts the light in the shower, off, on. The light, with you use this switch, if you raise it, it shuts the lights on the wall, turns them on or off. Thank you. Again, Mohegan Sun, Cove Suite 2339. Thank you. Have a good day.